Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about page numbers. I'm going to be explaining how to insert page numbers, how to change the font and the font size of your page numbers, and also how to um, start your page numbers on the second page or indeed further down your document. So let's get started. This is just a sample of a document, typical document that we might use to put page numbers in. So the first thing I need to do is to simply go up to the insert tab, go along to page numbers and click on page numbers. Now here you'll find there is a small dialog box which gives you a number of options. You can put your page number at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page. You can also put your uh, page number to the left centre or right of the page. I'm just going to choose centre and click OK. As you can see, all of your pages have been numbered. If you didn't want to include the front page, your title page, you can simply go up to page number and then you'll see it says show number on first page. If you uncheck that box and click OK, you can see now that your page numbers begin at number two in your table of contents. If you wanted your page numbers to begin with number one, but on the second page, you simply go up to insert, page number, go down to this section here again, show number on first page, uncheck that, go to format and start at zero, zero being the first title page, Click OK and then you can see down here your page number has started at number one. Now if you wanted to, your page numbers to start further down your document, you're going to have to split your document into sections. If I wanted my page number to start on my third page, I would click at the very end of my second page and also if I want it on my fourth page, I would click it on the end of my third page. You always click on the page before at the end. Then you go up to layout and you go down to this icon which says insert page and section breaks. And you go down to next page and this inserts a section break and start the new section on the next page. So basically what this does, if you click on there, just get rid of that and we'll just bring that text back up. Here we are. Oh. Bring that text up. Now if I go to the this icon here, it shows you exactly what has been done to your document. These are obviously the return um, symbols and here you will see section break next page. So what's happened is if I go down to the bottom of the document and double click, you'll see now the headers and footers are headers and footers section one and headers and footers section two. So what that's done is effectively split your document into two different sections. And obviously if you have more pages, you can split it into different sections that suits your needs. So in order to unlink these two sections, we go up to this icon here that says link to previous. We click on that one and it should bring up a dialog box. Do you want to delete this header and footer and to connect to the header footer in the previous section? You press no. Go up to page number, page number into the center and click OK. But what we actually wanted to do is start them at one. So if we click up to page number and we go up to center format and we want to start at number one, click OK, click OK. And there you have your number starting in section two.
and no page numbers in your first section, section one, which is your title page and your table of contents page. So if you wanted to delete this section, you've made a mistake, you wanted to add some pages, you can simply click back on your document if you click this icon here on the home tab you can see this section break here if you click to the left of that block and then you just press the return key sorry the uh, delete key it will delete that section break and then you just simply move your text down to where you want it to be and then you can start the process again if you wanted to simply put this area as a section you simply click at the bottom of this page insert sorry layout go down to page breaks next page into a section then if I go back up to this icon here you can see there's a section break here and then if I double click on my headers and footers you can see that section one is the first three pages section two is the next two pages again I don't want to link these so I go up to link to previous no go to page number into the center format starting at number one click OK and there we have your page numbers on section two, starting at number one. Now, if I decide that I want to change the font and the size of my page numbers, I simply double click to the bottom of my document, bringing up my footer. Then I highlight my number. and it's changed your font. If you then want to change your font size, I'm using a large bold font so you can see what I'm doing. You can either go to the font size and drop down menu, or you can simply use the font increase tab and simply keep checking on that until you get the desired font size. And then that is how to reformat your page numbers. So I hope that's helped. Do pose any questions you have in the comments below. If this has been helpful, please subscribe and have a great day.